to schedule them for one fall and it's a no disqualification match but he's back your referee making his return to love pro wrestling pwa hall of famer and your 2023 lpw official of the year i remember mike the fifth Fitzpatrick. I've known the Fitz for a long time. He's a hell of a guy and a tremendous official. You beat me too. I was just going to say, this where I stay first. quiet while you name drop? I'm in the Hall of Fame too. Though. Yeah. <laughs> the rhinestone cowboy, Stephen Crow, looking for a challenge. Went off social media. Boy, did he ever get one. <laughs> One half of your LPW Tag Team Champion. Taryn from accounting who is not in the building tonight. And bringing up the rear is your LPW Grand Champion. Who knows what's going through his mind right now as he's in for an incredible fight tonight in our main event right now. You're by LPW Grand Champion. Michael Richard Blaine, representing the clandestine society, hailing from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 175 pounds, one half of your LPW Tag Team Champion, the Rhinestone Cowboy, Steven Crow. MRB retreating to the locker room to prepare for his match. No disqualification, no rules, all chaos. And we've seen an incredible mean violent streak of Stephen Crow in the past several months. You know he's ready for this. I mean, he's a month off defending that championship against Mars the Specialist in a ladder match, which and is absolutely brutal. His opponent. That ladder match will be talked about for many, many years to come. And now making her LPW debut. Well, world traveled independent superstar Ali Catch. And of course, making her way to the ring for her love pro wrestling debut. Hailing from the whole damn state of Texas. She is Ali Catch. And Ali Catch, no stranger to no DQ, hardcore, whatever the hell you want to call it. As the in-house video shows her <laughs> like to smash over. This match is gonna be every bit as OTQ as advertised. I don't know what to expect from this one. The unexpected, I guess. Stephen Curl, one half of the LPW Tag Team Champions, Ali Catch, one half of the former GCW Tag Team Champions with Effie. There is the bell, and we are underway. Alley Catch hitting the deck and looking under the ring for some toys right off the hop. We're just going to get right at it, are we? See, now wet floor, safety first, right? I mean, we want to make sure our fans are safe. There might be some spilled beer over there. Maybe she's just giving them a warning. Stephen Crow wants no part of that. But hey, this is what you signed up for, pal. I mean, he had an open challenge. Stephen Crow saying he didn't want this match. I think that's some revisionist history. I mean, you should just let him change the rules if he wants to. A dance off? Ain't nobody want to be in a dance off with Stephen Crow. All right, all right, here we go. This is not the no DQ. It's a hardcore dance off. I think he's already won. So there's no belt. That's not bad. That's pretty good. There's no belt loops, but you know we improvise. She's from Texas. She should know how to that's, do stuff. That's very true. 
the whole damn state. Made for two stepping, baby. One more time. Come on. All right. I think that's pretty good form. I'm, I'm no two stepping expert, but I think that's pretty good form. I'm going to give it to Crow just based on the boots alone. That's pretty good form, too. Stephen Crow had enough play time. Now that's two stepping. Handful of hair. Hurling catch down to the canvas. And now two stepping all over the woman from Texas. Disrespectful to say the least, but I mean, this is the clandestine society. They respect no man or woman. I don't think you sign up for a no DQ match and have respect on the mind, Boris. Alley Cash put the brakes on that Irish whip, charging in, ducking that clothesline. Let me just respect the heck out of you before I, you know, smash you with a light tube and pizza cutter. Stephen Crow. Naughty boy. A hankering for some spankering. There's the scoop, big slam. I mean, to I'm the rhinestone the, cowboy. I'm not the booker, but I might have had a wooden spoon in the match for that one. And here is a two-step receipt, which is not something I thought I would ever say, but hey, we're in uncharted territory tonight. Who the hell does she think she is coming in two-step in an LPW ring? That is Stephen Crow's territory. Nobody and else. Down has. to the floor, and another one for good measure to the posterior of one half of the LPW Tag Team Champions. Hit him right in the moneymaker. Handful of hair down into one of those front row seats. Safe to say this thing's about to pick up. Stephen Crow's got that look in his eye. Hands off my booty. I would agree. I think we're going on a tour of the rec room here again. Unfortunately, can't see what's going on from where I am, but we really need a monitor. Oh, I think I think they might be coming our way. Never mind. I think Alley Catch wants to get a better look at this amazing venue we have here in Edmonton. Just got up close and personal with one of the tables. And Stephen Crow rehydrating with the water at table six. Handful of hair. Alley Catch attempting to turn the table, oh. having a delicious taste. Also hydrating, but a uh, brain buster brew. If you haven't tried it, it's good stuff. Hey guys, Alley Catch here. Uh, don't worry, I'm not about to end the match, okay? Ring in the bell. The, the, the match is still on uh, for those at home. Thank you. Everyone following along with the narrative. I mean, I heard a bell. Ring in Stephen Crow's bell. She seems nice. Do you think she liked me? She does not like Stephen Crow. I mean, I lent her my microphone. There's a fierce game of paper, scissors, rock going on at that table. And Stephen Crow's the loser of that one. Going back up to the top level now. I think we just witnessed wrestling's version of Uni Mini Mini Mo. Don't let these two behind the bar. We'll take a loss. Or do and grab us a beer. Yep, I got no idea what's going on now. Hmm. I guess we just let the crowd tell the story on this one. My neck hurts. Where are they? Up on the top level here at the rec room. I believe they're by the merchandise table where you can find all the latest and fine LPW products and apparel. Boy, I think Steve Rico just got a great close look at that fine, those fine products and apparel. He already has his own 8x10s. I don't think he needs that one autographed with his face. Oh, she's got one with her. She's, she's helped herself to some merch. Trying to hurl Alley Catch down those stairs. Catch able to put the brakes on. And hang on to the merch. Well, I mean, that's important. Make that money. Should I hand her a Sharpie? I have been known to throw a pen in the ring. That is true. Back down towards the ringside area. Oh, 
Free chops for those in the front row. Fans thinking better of it. <laughs> you gonna you gonna slap Stephen too? No oh, thanks. Alley catch showing them how it's done. Those consequences. Throw up on the ring apron. Oh, big knee strike right to the jaw. Sends catch down into one of those front row seats. Oh, almost like a meteor into that front row chair. What the call? That out. was gross and violent is what that was. Stuck his knees to her ears. She hasn't moved. That did some damage. She might be out. Oh, I see fingers twitching. Catch back inside the ring in considerable pain. Crow going for the cover. Out at two. Considerable was an understatement. <laughs> but this just became a lot less fun for Ali. Catch. Crow raining down right hands. Beat down. And that's that mean streak we spoke about earlier. Nope. This is not a game. This is not fun. This is all business for the clandestine society. Business is good. Pro going under the ring looking for some accoutrements to play with. Some what? Accoutrements. Plunder, if you will. More language you're speaking. That's a keyboard, Boris. You could use that to go on Nexopia, apparently. <laughs> Steel chair. Or in the IWTV. Ring. Absolutely. Do you think that's Pluggo's uh, keyboard? What is that in Stephen Crow's hand? I didn't quite see it. I think it's a stapler. All that time. Of course, yeah. that's a stapler. Is that a staple gun? It well, is a staple gun. One in Rome. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Stephen Crow with that 8x10 and that staple gun. And I believe Alley Catch about to get oh. very acquainted. Oh. With that eight by ten. Oh. Oh. Repeatedly stapling. Do you think she's regretting bringing that eight by ten glossy down now? She likes the photo so much, I'll give it to her for free. Somebody get that man a Sharpie. Stapling his likeness to Alley Catch. Welcome to Love Pro Wrestling. I can see the staples laying in the middle of the ring. My God. Stephen Crow charging the corner. Catch got the legs up. Stephen caught him coming in. And we've seen this before. Stacked up in that middle turnbuckle. Dropping oh. those knees into that rib area. Wow. I don't know if I've ever quite seen Steven drive the knees right through the abdomen like that. Yeah, there was no pawn circumstance to that. Now attempting to wedge that steel chair into the corner. It's one of the hardest parts of the ring. He took his eyes off that staple gun. Uh oh. And stapling the posterior of Stephen Crow repeatedly. He shoulders told, down. He told her, hands off the moneymaker. Didn't say anything about staples off the moneymaker, I suppose. I hate it when you're right. Reverse that Irish whip oh. into that chair face first. Goes one half of your tag team champions. That plan kind of backfired, didn't it? Or it blew up in his face. Crow charging the corner. Face full of stuff. Sandwiched in that corner repeatedly. Another face full of stuff. Hip attack from Alley Catch. Oh, cannonball. All of that stuff. Hooking the leg, going for the cover. Oh, she had that deep too. The leg was completely in control. I thought she got three there. Bro got the shoulder up. And now Catch going to go exploring once again. Stephen Crow in a bad way inside the ring. I mean, all he does is prove to us that he can't be kept 
down. What is this? That is a door brought into the ring by Ali Catch. Oh boy. And this spells all kinds of bad things for Stephen Crow. Any skeletons in that closet? We're about to find out. Let me answer that for you. Ali Catch looking to give Stephen Crow the ride through that door. Smart. Crow trying to avoid at all costs. Drop Able to sidestep. Trying to keep that center of gravity low. Doesn't want to go for the ride. Yeah, drop down to one lead. Took her leverage away. Crow into the buckle. Ooh, caught that elbow coming in. Up onto the top with that leaping knee strike right on target. How many knee strikes have we seen like that? I mean, I don't think Alley Catch has been the same since he hit her in the front row. Crow bringing in that. Oh, whipped her with the cord. I miss her with the keyboard and whip her with the cord. Keep oh, right across the back. I think that was the uh, semicolon went flying up into the upper level. Might have been a delete key. She's about to get deleted. Face first down across the gold. I think he just hit control alt delete. Stephen Crow, we've seen that running forearm to the back of the skull many times. Catch got the left shoulder up barely. She can't have much. When did that belt get its way into the ring? Pay attention, man. There's all kinds of stuff going wow. on right now. Fans getting behind Alley Catch. She's in a bad way against Stephen Crow. Dream Street. Welts forming on her back, on her legs, on her arms. Tried that twisting neckbreaker catch, able to escape. <laughs> Crow hits either one of those, and this thing's over. Yeah, swinging wildly, but not working out so well. Knee into the midsection, changing the tide. Sand. Duck that clothesline. Uh oh. Sits out with the slam. Hooking the leg. Deep. Out at two again. It's two. Probably digging down, looking for something, a little bit of extra fuel in that tank. No disqualification war here at LPW 25. Catch looking for that pile driver. She's won many matches all across the world with that very move. You want to get caught with that. Knee to the face. Especially with clothesline takes Crow over the top, down to the floor. She's finished him with pile drivers. Never mind pile drivers on the belts of chairs. Keep your eye on the oh. kendo stick. Where the hell did that come from? Steven Crow's arsenal. That's where. Right between the eyes of Alley Catch, and that's going to change the tide of this match in a hurry. She's in a bad way for us. And what's better than one door? How about two doors? Is he better than one? That was a question mark in front of that. Okay, we're bringing all the household furniture right now. Front row chair, now an in-ring chair. These are expensive. <laughs> Stephen Crow rearranging some furniture with nefarious plans for Alley Catch in her LPW debut. Gonna bridge that door between those two chairs. Cowboys and tables and chairs. Oh my. Kendall stick for dessert. Handful of hair, Alley Catch. What the hell does he have in mind here? Butter flying the arms. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Alley Catch trying to put the brakes on one knee on that door. Oh, oh. went low. Oh. All spare. In love and no DQ. Uh oh. Speaking of ringing the bell. Yeah, I'm just going to say ringing the bells of the Rhinestone Cowboy. And now. Depositing Crow up on that top rope. It's cute how you're reading my mind. Isn't it though? Catch following Crow up to that top rope. Oh, man. Asking the rec room crowd, is that where you want me to plant them? That door looming in the middle of the ring. Crow trying to fight out of this situation. I mean, that is not 
Trying to get his legs back inside. Oh, man. Those are not foldable steel chairs. Those are one-piece chairs. She's trying to walk her out of that corner, but she's holding on for dear life. Oh, no. Through Morris. that door. Allie Morris. Catch. Hold it up. Shoulders down. What? Oh, catch kicked out at two. Did I just hit that octave that Pluggo was talking about? Happy birthday, Pluggo. Yeah, I forgot about that. He's in his birthday suit somewhere. Stephen Crow can't believe that wasn't enough to get it done. I mean, no DQ or not, I don't think you want to get in Fitz's face. Crow looking for the kill shot now, maybe trying to spin out with that neck breaker. Don't worry about the referee, Crow. Just finish this thing. Pro gathering everything that he could possibly get his grubby little paws on in the middle of the ring. Gonna try and hit her with everything except the kitchen sink. Or maybe also a kitchen sink. Kendo sticks, parts of door, title belts all in the center of the ring. He's going to slam her on that whole damn garage sale. Every item. Catch. Able to spin out. Hit that forearm. Took too much time. Worried about the referee. Worried about piling stuff up. You can't give Ali Catch that much time. Now just both exchanging bombs in the middle of the ring. Too much experience. Oh. She's been here before, yeah. Boris. Yes, no stranger to this level of violence. Big elbow from Catch. Oh, that one. Got a hold of that shirt, dragging it back in. Shoved into that door. Crowley will put the brakes on. Oh, big spear into that door. Goes the rhinestone cowboy. I think he blew a brake line. No stopping that. And now Catch looking for there that stuff pile driver. There it is. There it is, Boris. Shoulders down. On the pile of rubbish. And a successful debut. For Ali Catch here in LPW. The winner, Ali Catch! Wow. wow. Well, if that's just a taste of what we're going to see tonight, this night is far from over. Ali Catch victorious over one half of the LPW Tag Team Champions in this no DQ match. Slitter strewn from one end of the ring to the other. I mean, Veda said it last month about Alan Angels. Often when you have somebody making their debut and they can knock off somebody the caliber of Stephen Crow, they might be looking at a title hey, shot. Hey, what hey. are we looking at now? Ali Catch holding aloft that LPW Canadian Tag Team title belt. Not try to put somebody's head through it. Don't let Ali catch do no DQ match. You already know it's gonna happen. She's gonna win. She's gone through doors, she's gone through glass, she's done light tips, she's done it all. I ain't scared of nobody, scared of nothing. Max. Ah that's a rhyme song, cowboy. I'm an outlaw, baby. And seeing as how I just beat half of the tag team champions, yeah. and I have a tag team partner. I'm sure you all know who it is. Oh my God. Oh, wait a second. Sure I believe you said his name earlier. And me. Or you might know him as Daddy Little Boy. Look at the I screen, think Boris. On May 31st, since I just won. I deserve a little treat here at Love. I think Bussy is coming to Love and Bussy is leaving as your new tag team champions. Ride or die and Bussy gonna go at it next month. It's about to get all Bussy up in here. Does he want his title? Oh, I think he looks better in my head. Give him his belt back. Things just got real oh, interesting. Yeah. 
We'll see you next month, Boris. Alley, catch it, Effie. Ride or die next month for the gold. Yes, please. I mean, the teams just keep stacking up for ride or die. I mean, they want competition. They're going to get it, but they've knocked down everyone that's been put in front of them. One more for Alley, catch!